Why do you think you were brought into those holy fuck writing sessions to begin with? So Oak um, executive produced that whole album and has done a bunch of stuff with Demi and they go way back. And he signed the producers that I had done the Hot Trash EP with. And then I did Ladybug, that whole album with them, and then Sleepyhead and all the stuff I'm doing now. Like Those are my guys that I'm locked in with. Um, they're signed to Oak. And so I had just finished making the Hot Trash EP, and Oak like loved what we were doing. And because Demi was doing rock music, he was like, yo, do you think Jutes would be able to come in and co-write some stuff for Demi? And so it was like through doing the blind dates, meeting Keith and Alex, who produce all my music, they're signed to Oak. They're in the session with Oak working on the Demi stuff. And then through the, him hearing my music that I made with them, I get brought up. So the, the blind dates, as gnarly as it can be, like that's it's networking. No, well, yeah, you, you have to prove yourself and pe- you make an impression. People yeah. remember you. But what was your awareness of that session before you entered it? Like, did you know exactly what you were going in for and who, you, who it was with? I, I knew who it was with, and I didn't know the vibe of the music. So I was like, I absolutely have to say yes no matter what, because when things come around like this, it's like, you got to say yes, because I was like, this is huge. But I was like, why would I be asked to write for Demi? Like, I'm not a big power vocalist and this isn't really the type of stuff like I was listening to her last stuff and I heard anyone and I was like what I can't write this so I was like let me just go and hope for the best and see what happens and then I show up and they're playing me some records that they already had and they were all rock and like very 90s inspired rock which is like my favorite and I was like oh sick like this is it was inspiring me to go further into like the type of rock that I started making after, like the grunge rock and the very 90s nostalgic, like that music inspired me to then get back in the studio and make another project. So it was a happy surprise. But I didn't know going into it that it was going to be like that. I was just like, sounds like an awesome room. Let's go. Hopefully I don't make a fool of myself. But you're really going in like a blind canvas because you had no Mm -hmm. idea. Yeah. Just in the moment. Yep, just sitting there and like, we, and the first day we ended up writing one of her singles, Substance. So it was just like it just clicked and it worked really well. And we just wrote a really great one. And we were like, I was like, whoa, that felt awesome. And then we wrote more. And yeah. In that moment, do you realize that like writing songs for others is a part of what you're meant to be doing? Yeah. Because I think I'm, I understand people well and. It's like a different because I because you have to get to know somebody quickly if you are meeting them and Demi writes from like emotional places a lot as well. So it's like on some of the songs like it was like we really had to like get to know each other on a deep level to write the song. And I think that that's something that I'm good at. Um, So it's kind of like there's like the songwriting itself, but then there's like the personal element where like if you're bad with people you can be a great songwriter but you might suck to collaborate with if you're just bad with people unless somebody just wants you to give them a song but if an artist wants to be wants to be in the song and like write it with you like you have to be good you have to they have to feel comfortable and so I like songwriting for that because it's like a whole other thing it's not like me just going internally and just making something from my own life it's like you bond and then create something together that is their vision in their life. And when they love it, it's like, it feels so rewarding to be like, I helped you have something that like you really connect to. Yeah, you guys bond and it's something yeah. that lasts forever. Yeah. Do you realize that you're in love with this person while you're making music with them? Because like you are connecting with them on a deep level. You're understanding I each I, other. I, I felt like we connected really quickly and it was like really good friends really fast. I wasn't considering anything romantic. I was just like, you're really awesome. Like I feel very comfortable with you. And like the first day is just like so comfortable and we just are like flowing and it was all really great. So we just became friends after that um, for a while before anything romantic started um 
So I don't know, like the thought of like being in love never crossed my mind, but it was like exceptionally quick how close and comfortable. It's like I felt like I already knew her. Yeah. Um, whereas That's like special. I get along with a lot of people when I write with them and stuff, but this was like one of those things where I was like, whoa, like did we just become best friends? Like <laughs> what's going on? So yeah, it was sick. But that connection allows for so much, right? Like mm-hmm. and that vulnerability allows for the best possible art. Always. Yeah. Always the best stuff comes from like the guard being down and and that's a tough thing to achieve when you're strangers. You know? Like how do you let your guard down? Especially in her position. Guard is you know, it's hard to let your guard down in front of strangers in certain positions, but we were able to just like connect and I think some really great music came of it. Art's crazy. Yeah. It's really it's awesome. Cool. There's no rules. Yeah, it's really special. Yeah. Like, you never know what can come of it, but also, like, so validating that, mm-hmm. I don't know, like, validating that you're on the right path and that, like, mm-hmm. being in these sessions or giving away your song right. was, like, so the right thing for yeah. your journey. Yeah, 